Simmer is the newest liquid added in Trier with the 1.414 level of love update. And here is everything you need to know about it. So first up, where can you find Simmer? Well, you can find it near the jungle side of a world in a mini biome called Aether Biome. So head towards one side of a world and if you find snow there, then turn around. Because jungle biome is always on the opposite side of snow biome. You will know when you are in Aether Biome when the stars will start to appear in the background. But if you want to open a Simmer easily, then you can open a seeded world. Celebration MK10, where all the liquids on the jungle side K1 are replaced with Simmer. Or you can craft a bottomless Simmer bucket, using 10 luminate bar and a bottomless bucket in an ancient manipulator. Which might be a bit difficult to obtain because bottomless bucket is a possible reward from Angler's quest. So now you have found Simmer. So what can you do with it? Turns out, a lot of things. Firstly, if you jump into Simmer, you won't be able to move your character until you reach some out of a space. This is called Simmering, which can be really helpful if used correctly it can even help you gain access into jungle temple early. But sometimes if there is a big cavern below simmer then you might die due to fall damage. So be careful while you use this liquid. But if you want to stop simmering then you can use the Terra Slug boot to walk on simmer. Or you can obtain a chromatic cloak by throwing star cloak in simmer. And when you are wearing this item you can go into simmer without phasing through. And when you want to phase through you can press down to activate simmering. And same with the Terra Slug boot, just press down to activate simmering. Now let's get into some permanent buff that you can gain using simmer. First off, you can throw life crystal in Simmer, which will give you a vital crystal. And upon using this item, you can increase your health regeneration by 20% permanently. Next, you can throw mana crystal in Simmer, which gives you arcane crystal, and using this item will permanently increase your mana regeneration. You can also throw a life fruit, which gives you Aegis fruit, and using it will permanently increase your defense by 4. And throwing any fruit in Simmer will give you Ambrosia, which increases your mining and wall placement or tile placement by 5%. You can also throw a gold worm in Simmer which gives you a gummy worm and using it will increase your fishing power by 3. Also throwing pink pearl in simmer will give you galaxy pearl which increases your lock stat by 0.03 permanently. You can also throw a peddler's hat which turns into peddler's satchel and using it will increase the amount of items sold by traveling merchant. And finally you can throw a spell tomb which gives you advanced combat technique volume 2 which increases your town NPC attack and defense but it can be only used after you consume the advanced combat technique which is possible reward from the angular quest. There are also other items that can be obtained using simmer. First up is the moon dial, which can be obtained by throwing sun dial in simmer and you can use it to skip the night time once per week in tray area. You can also upgrade rod of discord by throwing it in simmer to obtain rod of harmony, which unlike rod of discord won't take your health away. So you can tell you about any time without losing health with it. You can also upgrade the crane terminator by throwing it in the simmer to obtain terraformer which has 33% chance to not consume any solution and has a longer and wider reach. But these three items can be only obtained after you defeat the Moon Lord. Then you can also transmute Angel Wings into Aether Monolith, which will turn your background at any place into Aether Biome's background. You can also use the Simmer to uncraft some craftable items. For example, you can uncraft the Zenith and then collect the swords to craft the Zenith again, to have a chance to gain the modifier you want, which will save you a lot of coins. From you know, the Goblin Tinkerer as crafting and weapon or an accessory will have a chance to give it a modifier. You can also use Simmer to transmute many items, which essentially means you can change one item into another, but it works only for certain items. So for example, you can throw alchemy table in Simmer and turn it into a bewitching table. And some of my favorite items to transmute are Pharaoh's robe into flying carpet and Pharaoh's mask into sandstorm in a bottle. You can also turn any torches into aether torches and you can turn campfire into aether campfire by throwing them in Simmer. You can also turn many armors into their ancient variant or vice versa. There's a whole list of items that can be transmuted, but what you might not want to transmute are ores, because if you throw one ore into simmer, then it will downgrade into ore below it. For example, if you throw chlorified ore in simmer, then you will obtain an ore below it, which is titanium ore. So you can turn luminate ore in dot eventually just by throwing it in simmer. You can also do this for gems, so you can turn diamond into dot just by throwing it in simmer. And these downgrades aren't reversible, so be careful with what you choose to simmer. So some of you might have thought, what will happen if a town NPC gets in contact with Simmer? Well, they will change their appearance. Even their housing icons are changed, but their shop or dialogue will remain the same. And here are some of my favorites. The Dryad turns into a demonic version, the Pirate turns into a ghost pirate version, the Wizard turns into this cool character, the guy turns into an old man. These changes make the NPC really refreshed and cool. And when the NPC come in contact with the Simmer once again, they will reverse to their usual appearance. So what about enemies? Well, depending on which version of zombie, the zombie turns into skeleton. And all of the slime that come in contact with simmer will turn into simmer slime. And enemies except slime will turn invisible when they are in contact with simmer. And as they leave simmer, they will become visible with no difference. And all of the critters will turn into flame when they come in contact with simmer. Except for gem critter which will turn into gem when they come in contact with simmer. 
and also you can throw hellfire arrow or arrow in simmer which turns into a simmer arrow and unlike normal arrow which go down after a certain distance simmer arrow will curve upwards and fly you can also turn flares into simmer flares also when some of the projectiles hit simmer they will bounce after hitting simmer and finally be careful where you use simmer because unlike other liquids in terraria you can't use buckets to pick up simmer so it will be a hassle if it gets into your npc housing but what you can do to remove simmer is you can either use pumps to transfer it or you can make the simmer come in contact with other liquids which will turn the simmer into ethereum block which is a really cool slippery block and can increase your running speed if used correctly finally items which aren't affected by simmer will stay inside simmer and if you want to know what items can turn into what using simmer then click the link in the description and this is everything you need to know about simmer in terraria and if you want to watch me do challenges in terraria then you can watch these two videos and subscribe to not miss out on videos in the future